let's get some experience using wildcards on an Ubuntu system. So I've gone to the var log directory and let me just do an ls to see what's there. So for instance, uh, let me use the du or disk usage utility which tells me all the bytes that are being used by a given file or subdirectory. I could do something like du.sh uh, a star and you'll see these are all the different things under A. Uh, some are directories like app, the others are just files. If I only wanted to look at ones which have log in the name, I could do du sh a star log star. And so only ones that have log in their names. If I only wanted to look at the ones that start from the letter P or later in the alphabet, I could do du sh a, and then I could say uh, square bracket P through Z star. You see, and it neglected the alternative ones, uh, which would have done that. If I just want to look at uh, ones which have a certain character in them, I could do something like du star dot uh, one character dot star. So those are all the ones that have a substring in them with one character. Uh, here it's always a number, but it wouldn't have to be um, surrounded by periods on both sides. Now you have to be careful with wildcards that the system doesn't quote glob what you are doing, the string that you're putting in. So to give you an example, uh, you'll notice there's a bunch of different files here that start with the name VMware. Well, they're all over in the right column here. So suppose I try to do uh, uh, app get install VMware star and I should make that as you do. Well, it's actually looking for packages with all these names like VMware network one, VM VSC root two, that log and there are of course no packages with silly names like that but I could do something like this now. Let me put the VMware star in quotes and you see it actually uh, did find things. It found two packages, VMware NSX Common, VMware Manager, and it wants to install them and it needs these other utilities in order for them to work. Uh, I'm not going to do this because I don't need these guys, so I'll just say no. So when you put something in quotes, it says don't look in the current directory to like fill out the names to expand what you're doing. Uh, instead of looking, in this case, in the database uh, packages. Um, so you have to be careful, and you'll often see people use quotes even when there's no need for them just to be safe. So that's a little bit of demonstration of the use of wildcards.